curtain, showing some latte art. Okay, today we're gonna show you again some latte art. So, Dritian, this is just your um, automatic steaming technique. So, you just basically put this pitcher here, let the milk steam by itself. So, you have this hands free to take care of other things. Yes, nice. So, as you can see here, we have a nice micro wave, micro foam. Revolving. Always feel with your hands, whether it's ready or not. You can uh, save by the touch, obviously. Clean your steam one. Yes. So, guys, we're live here to show you some latte art to answer questions. So, if you have any questions, please shoot, let us know, and I will try to answer. Okay, so you prepare the surface and go dive in deep with the nose of your student. So let me turn around the camera. This is me talking uh, in the back. My name is Mariette and I'm basically always the one behind the camera. So if you have any questions, I will try to forward them to Drayton. Alright. So the first question we got is which type of milk are you using, Britan? Well, I can answer that for you. It's a uh, whole milk, 3.5% fat content. Okay, show it again. So, steaming goes as follows. Wait a second, show me. So you insert the steam wand right onto the surface like this and then you don't move the pitcher anymore, just let stay put with it. Okay, there you, can you see this? So this is the right way and now you go in full power. Full power, alright. Now you suck in the air. You hear the noise? Sucking in the air. But there's an engine that's mixing. Now we get the nice way. Types of coffee, Iris is different ones actually. So we never really use the same one every day. It's either singles or blends from all around the world. So there is no specific one. <laughs> Sally has a question. <coughs> Here. We'll get crema. to your question, Sally. So see the crema? How nice it is? <coughs> so you pour it to the another jug to get the right mixture. Because at the upper part of your milk jug, the foam is way thicker than below. So this is a way to um, get the perfect crema. So always work with two jugs. Jacqueline. Jacqueline says the way you froth the milk is cool. Well, it's actually super easy. You can't do wrong. Yeah. I want to drink one of those. How about you? Cuando vienes a Barcelona? I don't know. Where you done? Cuando vienes? I think you should be able to do it, I'm so happy to do it. She loves to speak. Thank you, Zola. Michael. Yes. So this is how Dritten works. 
So see in the back, um, he's steaming the milk already. Hands are free. And now he's preparing the jugs for the next round. So you can be very efficient then when, when uh, <clears throat> coffees come in and you have to be fast. And preparing the jug means the jugs he's, he's, he's steaming with puts half the volume of milk. Clean the water filters. Mm. Yeah, catch a flight and you'll get them all. <laughs> Luciano, Britain learned by himself. He, he never really studied somewhere else. It's just learning by doing or an experience. See how everything's running at the same time? So here's he's preparing the shots, flushing the thing. In the back you see the milk steaming again. Here he has one uh, ready. And see how he's mixing back and forth the milk? It's to ensure the right um, consistency of the milk. Hi Alan, uh, that is the general answer to that the question is yes. It has to be fast because he has to, has to stop the milk. Does he listen to the sound of the milk telling him that it's ready? go. Milk is ready over there for these two and for these two you get this milk later. This is how you can work efficiently. Uh, Iris, I don't know, we haven't tried. Alright, milk is ready. 65 degrees temperature. So we are grinding the one at the same time preparing the milk. Ready, shots are ready, off you go. Mm -hmm. See? So if you're working in a busy place, try to come up with a with your habits to work as efficiently and fast as you can. Mm. Always clean your uh, workspace. Always flush. Mm. No, you think it's steaming way too long, really. It's really not. Promise. He knows this machine by heart. He really knows how long uh, the milk needs to be steamed. And the power of the steamer is not that high. It always depends on the power of your steamer. How long you steam. And this one only has two holes. So this is the temperature here. Come on, from this side. Sorry? From this temperature, from far, from through. Yeah, it depends on the pressure of your machine, how much power your steam wind has. So you might have the perception that he's steaming it way too long, but in fact it's not. Hi, Ellen. Yes, indeed. <laughs> exactly. That's what you need. You need a structure so you can move fast. So you can actually do it with your uh, eyes blindfolded. So whenever there's a stressful moment in your place, it can be fast. Yes, you have four holes, Britain has two holes or three holes, so um, it just takes longer for steaming, but it's certainly not. It can't, the milk can't be too hot because otherwise you wouldn't be able to do this. The milk will be falling apart, 
everything was running at the same time. See the grinder, the milk, pouring the next shot. Luciano Dritan didn't study this. He, he it was just learning by doing, right, Dritan? Just experience. Okay, I'm the one talking. As you can see, he's busy. He's speeding up. And yeah, everything needs to have his own place. As you can see, he's always placing the pictures over there, temper on one spot, and everything needs its own spot so you can really work efficiently with structure. Now, off the well, put up the lever. Milk is ready. Clean the wand. Of course, half of the milk into your jug so you have two, three identical um, cappuccinos later on. He's taking a spoon so that the cups uh, stay clean. So in this way, he can actually serve an entire cafe filled with people by himself. Give these out as a, as a gift to our customers. <laughs> wir wollen wissen, was mit den Kaffees passiert. Und ob sie den warum die nicht rausgehen an die Kunden. Ja, das mache ich für euch. Ja, it's yours, all yours. You can come and drink all of them. Hello, Slovenia. Yeah, Michael, that's actually possible and we already try, uh, showed you guys how to make coffee with soy milk. We did a tutorial on this. You can find it on Facebook page or also on the YouTube uh, page where we sh really show how to steam different kinds of milk. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, bye guys. This was it. See you as well. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.